Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that you might want to go through in Windows 10, and um, that is the different settings if privacy is a concern for you. Um, there's a few things you might want to check. First of all, there's a little bit of ads in Windows that are that can be, you know, just showing up as app suggestions, things like that. So what I would actually do is, first of all, right-click your Start button, go into Settings. In the Settings, you will have different things that you could check. There's Privacy Settings. In the Privacy Settings, what you could do is turn off the options for the Advertising ID and turn off the... Um, Windows tracking app launches to improve start and search results. Remove the suggested content in the settings app. That's a few of the things that minimize the intrusion and the snooping that could go on uh, due to the fact that advertising is going to be there. So these are some of the first things that you should actually look at. Um, other things that you can do in your uh, computer is to go into the personalization option and go to the start option on the left. Here you can also remove suggestions so that means that you will not actually be suggested things that you might want. For example, it could pop up as, oh you may need Microsoft Office or you may need this or that. You don't need that, and that's going to stop popping up in Suggested App. When you click the Start button, you might see that on the top when the suggestions are on. Where you could also um, check the options in the Privacy Settings, it has to do with the Diagnostics and Feedback. Here you have different information that can be sent out. Um, to Microsoft, and it's for really uh, diagnostics purposes, trying to see through the um, feedback that it's sent, the telemetry that's sent to Microsoft, you know, uh, if problems arise, they actually get a stream of data that knows that, oh, well, there seems to be this type of problem on a lot of PCs and so on, and that has to do with this. But by default, it's the... Um, optional diagnostics data that's sent, which means everything that it could get, it will get. It technically is anonymized, which means that they can't really, you know, retrace that to being you. But what happens is that the optional diagnostics could technically give personal info. So, for example, if there's a crash and the info is sent and in the RAM memory, there would be personal information, your email or whatever, your postal address, because you're using an app that has that in it and it's stored in the RAM temporarily, well, that could be sent. So technically that could mean you're not totally anonymous with that. So you can actually just change that to what is called required. Required is the minimum amount of information that's going to be sent, but none of it will be able to trace who you are exactly. It will be an anonymous machine on the internet. So I would suggest that you could change that to required diagnostics. And that means you're just going to send the minimum requirement. Unfortunately, there's no on off switch, which was something that a lot of people would have liked. But that unfortunately is not something that they give you an option. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.